Hi right, hey everyone. Today we're going to start. Um, I'm going to show you how to uh, fix your NVM installation for Windows. So we are going to start. So the problem is that version 1.1.12 is not a good version to install for Windows if you want to use Git Bash. So we are going to install version 1.1.11 after we uninstall version 1.1.12. So if we go, so the way you get this is that, uh, well, you know, let's start, we'll start at the beginning though. Um, so I'm gonna go back to, back to here. So we search for MVM Windows. But before we do that, let's go ahead and go into our, uh, we do a search for um, uninstall, uh, it's not right, it's add or remove programs is what you're gonna look for. Uh, your control panel. This is going to be a way to remove applications, or basically uninstall things. So what we want to do is type NVM at the top of this, and you should see NVM for Windows if you already installed it. If you don't see NVM for Windows, then don't worry about it this step. But uh, we want to hit these three dots over here. We want to go uninstall. So this app and its related info will be uninstalled. Uninstall, hit the button. Okay, do you want to allow it? Yes, I just want you to uninstall. Removing, yes, I still want to install, uninstall it. Are you sure? Yes, I'm really sure. Super, super certain I want to uninstall this. Now, finally uninstall it. So after five or six confirmations, you can finally uninstall it. But now we're clean. Now we're able to actually go into here. Now we can get started where we want to actually do to fix this. So if we go into MVM, search MVM Windows, the first one should be this Corey Butler NVM Windows. This is where we want to go. So we click on this. And then we want to go to the right side here. Scroll down where it says releases and it has version 1.1.12. We'll click below that where it says plus 19 releases. And so what we want is we don't want version 1.1.12. So we can just actually minimize this. You don't have to, but there's version 1.1.11 underneath this. And this has this assets that's actually, oops, I right click there. I, 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 you want to left click this. And this has the assets for this. And that's where we wanted to install NVM dash setup. So we click that. This will download it. After it's downloaded, we just click it to start uninstalling it. We hit yes to install it. And I accept the agreement. Hit next. And this is where we just go next for this. Now, this one right here, we want to actually go into our, this is where we want to actually open up one of your folders. You want to create a folder. So if we go to here, let's say we go down to uh, this PC. We just want to, well, I just have to have a bunch of these, but you want to open a file explorer. So if you don't know how to do that, here, let me just close this down. And just go up here and type file, and there's file explorer. This will give you a window for file explorer. And so here you want to go down to this PC, go to C, and then go to your users, pick whichever your user is, select your user, and then inside of here you want to just right click anywhere and then click new folder and just name it NVM, hit enter. So now we've created a folder where we're going to install this sim link to. A sim link is a, um, a link that the computer thinks is a file. It can link directly to where the installed application is. So if we do that, um, so, all right, so if we go, this is select the folder in which setup should create the sim link. The previous step was where it installs it, but this is the where it's creating the sim link. And this is important. So if we go in here, we hit browse, we scroll back down to users here and hit the little arrow next to it. And that should show the same users that you just saw. So we go into the folder of this one. And now uh, this is our user that we have. And so we want to select the NVM folder we just created. In your home, this is your home directory. You want to pick your user, your user that you log in with, and then uh, select the NVM folder you just created. Hit OK. And then go next. And then install. Now finish. Now, you want to go into here, type git for git bash. 
If you have this open, you want to close it first and then reopen it. Um, and then you type nvm dash v and there you go, it works. Thanks. Uh, let me know if you have any issues. Um, thank you.